Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you're watching again Optometry with Khuram, with me. And today's again a question and answer session. And today, today's question is from the reality news. And I do, don't know exactly who is he or who is she. Uh, but every student of mine is uh, at the same level. Every student is important for me being an optometry teacher. And uh, every comment is important for me. Uh, so I'm trying my best to resolve every query, to resolve every question. So today's question is about the near addition and near correction. So the comment is that what is exactly the difference between the near correction and near addition? I have many detailed videos on these topics. So let's uh, make it clear today again. So we have to make differences between near correction or you can say near prescription as well. Both are the same and next thing is near addition so we have to make a clear differences between the near correction and near addition first of all we will discuss about the near addition remember that in press biopia you know very well what is press biopia press biopia is actually uh, the aging factor the physiological changes in the crystalline lens right so you know very well about the accommodation that accommodation is innate power innate dioptric power right when we see at the near objects right i'm looking at my hand i'm looking at my wristwatch right whenever i see at my wristwatch whenever i see any near object at this distance at near distance at near object i have to use my accommodation and what is accommodation accommodation is actually the increase in the plus power of the crystalline lens that is accommodation but with the passage of time due to aging right at the specific age of 40 years more or less that power of that ability of accommodation will be lost right so at specific age for example 40 at 40 years of age you will lose your accommodation that is called press biopia right the loss of accommodation due to aging is called press biopia right so after press biopia after 40 years of age i lost my accommodation so i need plus power from the outside from the outer sources like spectacles and glasses right so you know very well that accommodation has two characteristics right and what are those characteristics accommodation has two characteristics as i said number one the accommodative power must be number one it should be in spherical form and number two it should be in plus power the accommodation has two characteristics i repeat number one is spherical it must be spherical. that power must be in spherical not in cylinder number one and number two is that must be in plus not in minus right so these two character characteristics is of are of the accommodation but unfortunately at the age of 40 years i have lost my accommodation for example right somebody lost his accommodation or her accommodation at the age of 40 years or after the age of 40 years so he or she needs the power which have two same characteristics like accommodation like he needs or she needs the power after the 40 years of age because he lost his accommodation so he needs a power which has the same characteristics number one is that power must be in spherical and that power must be in the plus form so here is the definition of addition now remember that as i said before the 40 years of age before the press biopia accommodation is there and accommodation has two characteristics number one the accommodative power is in uh, plus an accommodative power is in spherical but after 40 years of age i do not have any accommodation right so i need power from the outer sources in the form of glasses in the form of spectacles in the form of near glasses so the power which i need in my near glasses is called the near addition right and near addition is actually the replacement of the accommodation because i have lost my accommodation so i need addition with the same characteristics with the plus power and with the spherical power right so addition is actually the power which you or me 
will use at the after the age of 40 years that will consist plus form and spherical form so addition is actually the replacement of the accommodation after presbyopia right which has plus power and which has spherical power so this is the definition of the addition so addition could be at 40 years of age add addition could be in at 40 years of age addition could be plus one spherical so as you see at 40 years of age i have lost my accommodation so i need glasses right so what type of glasses the glasses must have plus spherical form right so plus one spherical this is the addition right but if you have a uh, distance refractive errors for example if you have myopia for example if you have hyperopia for example if you have astigmatism right so you will have a, a specific prescription which is called the near correction or the near prescription for example if you have if you do not use any distance glasses your distant vn is six by six you are not using any spectacles for distance you do not have myopia you do not have press uh, sorry you do not have myopia you do not have hyperopia you do not have any astigmatism then your near vision glasses must be in plus spherical form and that is called addition right and now we will discuss the near correction or near near prescription right the near prescription or near addition first we will we have discussed that you do not use any distant glasses right but in this case if for example if you have myopia if you have hyperopia or if you have astigmatism for example you have a distance vision glasses already and now you are feeling difficulty while you are reading so you need a specific glasses right you will need a specific glasses for the near vision for the near correction for the near prescription right so how can we find that for example your distance glasses are in the right eye you have plus two spherical and with minus one cylinder at 90 degree so your right and left eye has the prescription distance prescription remember distance prescription in your right and left eye is plus two spherical with minus one cylinder and the axis of the cylinder are 90 degree right so now the age of that patient is 40 years and you know very well that at 40 years you are going to lose your accommodation the plus power in the eye is not going to exert so you need plus power plus spherical power from the outside right which is called near addition right so at 40 years of age you know very well that addition is plus one spherical so this is actually the prescription the distance prescription the prescription the glasses which you will use every time the distance glasses right and this one is called plus 1.00 spherical this is called addition right because we have discussed that addition has two characteristics number one it must be plus and number two it must be spherical right so now we have distance glasses we have addition which is plus one because the age of the patient is 40 years and in 40 years we always prescribe the plus one addition right but now we have to uh, determine the near vision glasses we have to determine the near correction we have to determine the near prescription so for, for this simply you have to add this near addition in the distance spherical correction so distant spherical correction was plus two spherical and addition is plus one right so we have to add both of them algebraically very simple so our spherical is plus two and addition is plus one so we have to add both of these we have two values the one with the plus other with the plus so plus and plus 
always plus. So plus 2 and plus 1 will be plus 3. So this plus 3 is our neospherical in the reading glasses, in the near prescription, in the near correction, right? And what about the cylinder? Because we have cylinder in our distance pres prescription, right? So we have minus 1 cylinder and we have excess of the cylinder. So we will write cylinder and excess of the cylinder as such. We do not change, we do not alter the cylindrical correction and excess of the cylinder, right? We have to write as such. We will put that excess, we will put that cylinder and we'll write as such over here. So minus 1 cylinder at 90 degree. Actually, my plant is hiding the lecture, I think. Now that's right. So you can see plus 3 because we have plus 2 spherical in the distance correction. We add the addition in the spherical correction. So the new spherical is plus 3, right? And we will write cylinder and excess of the cylinder as such. So this prescription is called the near correction. This prescription is called the near prescription, right? So that is exactly the difference between the near addition and near prescription or near correction. Hope this is clear. Uh, if you have any query regarding optometry, if you have any question regarding optometry, you can give your precious comments and I'll answer it.